What's going on, guys? Your boy Fat Joe Jr. 2001. Uh, I know it's <clears throat> excuse me. I know it's been a minute, but uh, you know things didn't work out as good as I hoped with some uh, other set of videos that I had in place. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm here. You know I ain't going nowhere. Uh, I'm gonna try to let me try to zoom this in a little bit for you guys. I want to close it up a little, you know what I'm saying? But um, definitely, guys, you know, I've been around, just uh, been getting some things set up. Uh, and, you know, I, I actually, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. I'm probably not going to be seen because I was sitting in the seat on the side of the stage. Um, I actually went to... Uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this. I went to the URL event, Summer Madness, URLTV.TV. Definitely support Smack. You know what I'm saying? I went to this event, and they're all cool. You know what I mean, Beasley, they all keep it professional. You know what I mean, they keep it smooth, jazz. You know what I mean? And it was, it was awesome, you know. Y'all know I live in New York. The event was in Manhattan. At a uh, at a uh, Webster Hall, right? And they had the music pumping. Bass was crazy. Um, everybody went through. You know what I'm saying? The dude from Clips was there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was there. Aver, Big T. You know what I mean, well, Aver had a battle, so he had to be there. But you know what I'm saying? Young Ill was there. Everybody was there. It was really cool. You know what I mean? Jay Huggins was there. Um, Jay Huggins was like, yo, he was like 6'3". He's a big dude. Um, you know what I mean? Hands. Um, everybody was there, you know what I'm saying? Math Hoffa came through. They even played Math Hoffa's, you know, I'm a kill, 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 Calico. You know what I'm saying? Before that battle commenced. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was actually very cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to give too much away. Um, you know, I know Smack got a business. I respect him as a human being and as a hustler that's making his money. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was just a beautiful event. Um, here's my uh, my opinions of who I think won. Um, it's arguable. I mean, I favor some guys, so who knows? But uh, let's get into it. Uh, the first battle, DNA versus... Um, DNA versus X Factor. I feel like DNA took that two rounds to one. He barely won. Um, I think they were both pretty, pretty whack. You know what I'm saying? I think they could have came a lot harder. Um, they were definitely getting booed, uh, both of them. So I feel like that was a wash. But if I had to choose one person, I felt like DNA edged it. Um, the next battle after that was uh who was the next battle after that the next battle after that was midwest miles versus tech nine um i felt like tech nine swiped them across won all three rounds you know what i'm saying and yeah tech nine was a beast that night i felt like he really went in you know what i mean he was funny i mean tech nine's tech nine y'all know how he does um, so that was really cool. I mean, Tech Nine, Tech my nigga, man. He was, he's, he's the coolest dude. I didn't really get to talk to him, um, which sucks. The only person I got to talk to, um, I said what's up to Tay Rock. Tay Rock was there, and I also, you know, what I mean, I talked to Shotgun Shug. You know, what I'm saying I asked him what he think he, his next battle is, and he told me that he should be at the next event, which the next event should be coming soon. Um, Load of Luck should be at the next event. Um, anyway, moving on. Let's get through that. Um, the next battle was uh, K-Shine versus uh, Sue Surf. I felt like K-Shine came with some shit, but I felt like uh, Sue Surf won 2-1. to You know what I'm saying? I felt like K-Shine got the first round, and Sue Surf took the next two. So, definitely giving it to Sue Surf on that. But K-Shine was nice, no doubt. Um, the next battle after that 
was um I think yeah it was a uh, T-Rex versus um T-Rex versus uh conceded let me see that's three four five six seven yeah uh, it was T-Rex versus uh, Conceited, and I felt like uh, Conceited got him. I think, I think Conceited kind of swiped him. If I gotta be honest, I didn't really feel anything that T-Rex said. I felt like he was just talking to talk. He had a few bars, but nothing major. I felt like uh, Conceited came with his A game, and he took that one. And T-Rex basically made a fool of himself. I mean, and, and the funny thing is, I'm a big fan of T-Rex. I like his aggressive flow, you know what I'm saying? But he just, he didn't come, he didn't come, to, you know, to fight, man. He didn't come with it. And I felt like, uh, cause he took that one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, after that, I think it was, uh, Math. Yeah, it was Math versus, uh, uh, Calico. You already know Calico. Calico was calling it out, landslide. Uh, Math Hoffa basically got booed all three rounds. Like it was like a, a night at the Apollo when when the clown comes and boots you off the stage. Math got shamed. I don't think we'll be seeing him battle anymore. It was a landslide. Calico destroyed him. So definitely Calico shitted on him. Um, Math Hoffa just. He was a disappointment, in my opinion. Some people are probably going to say he came hard. Some people are probably going to say he didn't. My opinion, I felt like he didn't come at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, Calico ripped him. I think uh, Calico's on to the next level. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's coming up. He's a big he's a big boss now. You know what I mean? Came with his girl. Not for nothing, Cali. Yo, your girl was hot. You know, real talk. He came up. You know, his girl was fucking fired. I just want to put that out there. Um, all right, let's just speed this up. A verb versus uh, A verb versus Charlie Clips. Another landslide. I was shocked. I'm a big A verb fan. That's my nigga, right? Like A verb. He's one of my faves. I've always liked him. I loved his battle versus Hollow and his battle versus Marv One. And I felt like he just didn't come at all. You know, I actually was telling my brother, Averb got paid off because he really just didn't show up. Um, you know, he usually comes really crazy, but it just didn't happen. I felt like Charlie Clips came with some next level shit. I think right now he's number one. He's the, he's the boss dog. You know, he's the one to beat. And I don't really see him getting beat with the way he came that night. Y'all going to really like that battle. One real talk. So definitely tune into that. Um, so yeah, Charlie Clips landslide all three rounds, and in the main event, Hollow the Don versus Hitman. I felt like there was a lot of tied rounds. They were very equal. <clears throat> if I had to give it to somebody, I probably would give it to Hollow by slight edge. I felt like Hitman came with some shit, but he didn't really come all the way. I felt like his mind was somewhere else. So I think. Um, you know, two rounds tied, the first two rounds tied, and then um, Hollow took the, the, the last round, so I give that one to Hollow. Um, you know, I think if you want to give Hollow slightly edge the second, maybe two to one to Hollow, but it was very close. I think if the third round was up in the air. If Hitman would have came with some greater shit, I think Hitman would have took it. Um, besides that, Yo, the New York crowd, you know, those Philly dudes, everybody was in New Jersey, Chicago, St. Louis. Everybody came through. A lot of love, you know what I mean? VIP was full. You know, they had hot girls. Yo, Smack really did it. Only problem I had, that Smack needs to get more organized. You know what I'm saying? He let everybody in around 4.30, 4.45. At 4.35 more so, which was kind of late because we were supposed to get in the venue at 4. And then he didn't start till 8 o'clock. So I felt like that was really ridiculous. You know, for someone who's overweight as myself, you know what I'm saying? I was sitting on top of a couch, and the couch, you know, sitting on top of a couch, there's a piece of metal behind me, and I was really uncomfortable. It was really painful. 
So the fact that we had to wait all those hours for it to finally start, we're basically listening to the music the whole time. Not cool, smack. Not cool. But as far as the whole event goes, the, the shit was the bomb. You know, I wish it just, as long as it would have started earlier, and then, you know what I'm saying, a lot of dudes were smoking in the venue. You know what I'm saying? I personally, you know what I'm saying, I didn't, I didn't like that. You know, I get drug tested, you know what I'm saying, uh, for my surgery. You know what I'm saying? I don't smoke. So I felt like that, was, that really wasn't cool. A lot of dudes were smoking. I think I caught some contact. Really wasn't cool. Um, you know, I still got the, the blue the blue thing on that they, they gave me. Um, people on the stage only had uh, pink bands, and I think VIP had, like, yellow or, or something like that. I, I don't recall what they had, but stage people had pink passes. You had to pay 200 for stage passes. But anyway, overall, the event was good. What I really uh, came to make this video for was my boy Lem from Wet Paint Customs uh, sent me out a piece. You know what I'm saying? Um, I finally bought a piece from him. If y'all could see. You can see his, uh, his, uh, you know what I'm saying? His little logo right there. Um, I was kind of disappointed with him, if I got to be honest. Um, you know, I, I've been taught, I, I was one of his original subscribers. Like, when I subscribed to Lem, I think he had like six, seven subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I came I came through when Lem was like around starting. So I thought Lem was gonna look out for a brother, you know. I've been messaging him like crazy. He doesn't really respond to me, if I have to be honest. I also asked him to customize, you know, the piece, you know, put Marlin, you know, my name. Or maybe even a fat Joe, you know, like and I asked him to put a um a Autobot sign on the back. You know what I'm saying? Who knows, maybe he did it, you know, but I doubt it because he was like He's like, nah, I'm sorry. I, I mailed out the piece already. And the crazy thing is, as soon as I paid for the piece, I sent them those two messages. So for him to send the piece out that quick, I don't know, yo. That was kind of, that was kind of, that was kind of funky. But you know, I guess he's busy. You know, he didn't have time to do any extras. You know, and that's understandable. I mean, I also asked him to put some blue Swarovski crystals for me. You know, what I'm saying on the chain itself. But, um, you know, regardless, you know, Lem is cool, you know what I'm saying? I understand if he can't, you know what I'm saying, do what he could do for me. Yeah, he just left the back plane, but he glittered it up. It looks cool, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, it's a really, really big piece, actually, really big piece. Um customized to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? I bought that Optimus Prime piece. You know what I mean? I'm a big uh, Transformer fan. Uh, overall, it's cool, though. I see he got the balls here. I didn't even notice that in the regular vid. It smells like fresh paint. You know what I'm saying? I put it on. It's a long piece. I would have to stand up for it to, like, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's a heavy piece. I think it's cool, you know what I mean? Shout out to Lem, he, he does good work, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like his communication could be a whole lot better, you know what I'm saying? You could tell like this is like, a, this is definitely like some glitter. Um, I don't know how that works really, um, if it's like diamond gloss or if it's just glitter. Also, it has like some like uh, some glue, let me see, right here, right here it has like some, uh, you're probably not going to be able to see it, right there, it has like some glue bubbles, which which doesn't look cool, you know what I'm saying, but overall it's a really nice piece, I could dig it, you know what I'm saying, that shit is fresh, you know what I'm saying, really hot piece, Lem, I definitely approve. I just wish, like I said, the communication was a little better, and, um, you know what I'm saying, I made a little request, you know, I mean, it wouldn't have took them too long to write the, do the Autobot thing, and then write my name under it, but like I said, I guess as soon as he saw I ordered, he sent it out or whatever, I'm trying to get more pieces from him, um, I'm not trying to go too crazy with the wood pieces, 
Um, I don't really rock wood pieces that much anymore, but you know what I'm saying? I did this more so to support my dude Lem, because he's a good man, you know what I'm saying? He could be out there hustling or whatever, but instead, you know what I'm saying? He's using his talents, and he's doing the right thing. He's making an honest living. And you know what? Your boy Fat Joe can always appreciate something like that. And I always approve of that. You know what I'm saying? Doing it the right way, making his hustle by doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely approve of that. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to work with them, and he'll be able to work with me back. You know what I'm saying? And we can work out some, some stuff so that I could get some more pieces from him and support him more. And, and you know what I'm saying? And uh, and uh, put his name out there more. But uh, the communication definitely has to step up with Lem. Um, besides that, you know, I've been trying to deal with him for a minute. He's a cool guy once again. And uh, let me show you the piece one more time. You know what I'm saying? Shit is iced out. Definitely a custom piece, hot piece. You know, he uh, hand paints this himself. This ain't no bullshit. He cuts it himself. You can tell everything is detailed to the max. You know what I'm saying? And I really feel like it's a nice piece. So thanks, Lem, for, for, for the piece. You know what I mean? It's your boy, Fat Joe. Holla at me. I'm always here. Got a lot more vids to come. I'm working on something new. So y'all going to be excited about that. Yo, I'm only going to say one thing. Yo, y'all like Call of Duty? Y'all like Black Ops? Yeah. You want to see your boy, Fat Joe, go in it? All right. I'm going to get that popping for y'all. Me and my brother, my nephew, we, we go in, son. We go in. We're preparing for Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to put y'all on. Your boy, Fat Joe. Yo, Lem, good looks. Hopefully, we can do more business. Your boy, I'll see you next time. I got a, a, a Samsung Indulge um, boxing coming up. Check it out. Your boy, Fat